GE. All right, Stephanie Link. Shares are off the high after the beat. What's your view here? It was a good quarter. Good execution. Larry, Larry Culp is delivering for sure. Uh, the beat was be better than expected power, renewables, health care, but the orders were really great. 47% year over year growth in aviation, 63% in power, 11% in health care. So the visibility starts to improve going forward. Free cash flow is what this stock uh, it really trades on, and they raised free cash flow guidance, so that's good news, too. I am looking at shares of UPS right now. Tiffany. Tiffany McGee. Shares are down 8.5%. Yep. Uh, so you bought I more. <laughs> And I just bought it today. Yeah. So, you know, they, they beat on revenue expectations um, three and a half billion dollars when most people were expecting about twenty three point two four ish. Um, and, but they had a, a, you know, a jump in the revenue that they're making per package. And also their international business is really strong. So their deliveries did slow a bit. And so that's why, you know, I, I believe we're seeing the dip. So for me, it was a good opportunity to buy something that I love at oh. a good price. OK. Um, we should also note, and we didn't get a chance to mm -hmm. ask Steve Weiss about it because we focused on his, uh, his big tech moves today. But he saw the pullback in shares of FedEx in sympathy with UPS, and he told us that mm -hmm. he bought some more stock yeah. and uh, he bought some calls as well. So he remains bullish on this space. All right, Steph, Stanley Black and Decker. Mm -hmm. They beat. Shares down, though. You own. <sighs> Uh, this is why I call earnings season silly season. They beat, they raised, they had total revenue organic of 33%. Tools and storage grew 40%. Margins beat by 200 basis points across the board. So they raised guidance as well. So I, uh, I, this is definitely a buy, in my opinion. So um, that's what I'll be doing.